Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah uh, and guys I'm glad to have you on board. Now this is the second episode on our graphic design series where we are going to tackle Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and guys uh, we are going to begin in the very basics like understanding the difference between Photoshop uh, and Illustrator. I will walk you through some of the tools uh, in Adobe Illustrator uh, and I will show you how to convert raster images to vectors how to design custom logos, how to draw cartoons and so forth. But I guess uh, before you begin, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please consider subscribing, like and share this video to your friends. And to the returning subscribers, thank you very much for your continued support. Uh, you can as well like uh, this video so that we may reach uh, very many people. And then I guess uh, also if you want such kind of uh, softwares for free, then uh, you are, you're going to join this channel membership. Once you join this channel membership, guys, uh, you're going to have access to premium packages just for free. And so, guys, um, what is the difference between uh, Photoshop and Illustrator? So, guys, I think uh, the main difference between Photoshop and Illustrator is the kind of uh, graphics uh, each application creates. Like uh, Photoshop uh, creates a raster graphic using pixels, while uh, Illust Illustrator creates vector. And so, in a nutshell, uh, Illustrator is vector-based editing software, while uh, Photoshop uh, is a pixel-based uh, editing software. So guys, once you open your uh, Illustrator software, then uh, you are going to have this kind of an interface here. Now, uh, the first thing that you, you want to do so that you may be on the same page, go to the window, then uh, go to the workspace, and then ensure that uh, Essential is checked. Once it's checked, uh, first of all, ensure that, uh, sorry, Ensure guys that that uh, essential is uh, checked uh, by default, and then now uh, uh, once again go to the window, and then ensure that uh, it, you reset essential so that everything may be by default. And so guys, now once you are done, then I go to the uh, to the home. I want us to create you know an, uh, a new artboard there. So I uh, click here, create new, uh, and then uh, guys, uh, I want us to create. You can create anything for mobile for web for film and video for illustration but i go to the print because i want to use uh you know uh you know a uh, raster image here a uh, raster design now what i do here uh you can give it any name like uh, let me just say um let me say uh, let me say just for the sake of let me just give it any name any name guys and then uh, guys uh, here you can change the units i like using uh pixel and then you can give it let me give it 1920 19 uh, 20 by 1080 here let me give it uh 10 1080 and then uh, the orientation is uh is, uh, is landscape then the art the art board is one i just want to use uh one art board there and then again uh, the color mode you can change it to rgb because our cmyk is kind of a washed color I like using uh, RGB uh, color here. So let me select RGB. Then uh, the resolution leave it the way the, it is because uh, it's kind of a, a, a raster, you know, design there. And then uh, what, once you're done, then I click on create, click on create. And then I uh, guess uh, you're going to have this kind of an art board. Now guys, I want us to add here some controls and uh, perhaps try to increase what uh, the number of tools here. So what you do, go to the window then ensure that our control is checked here our control is checked then i guess if you want to increase uh you know the number of uh, tools here because uh, you can see guys that we have other items here now if you want to increase the number of tools there again you can go to the window then at the toolbar and then ensure that uh, you check this advanced so that you may have uh, other items alternatively you can go to this uh, three dots then uh, here at the top you can click and then I go to you can change to basic from basics to advanced so I think uh, once you are here then I guess uh, we are good to go and so I want us to begin by first of all let me uh, make it so that it may, it may be arranged in a uh, in a single uh, vertical what uh, column here these items here now I guess I want us to begin by first understanding uh, these tools here on your left so guys, uh, first of all, this is the selection tool. Now, in uh, Photoshop, it's called the Move tool. You can use it. You can use it to move uh, objects here, 
but you can as well use it to select uh, objects like uh, if you want to move this artboard then uh, first of all click tab and then uh, you can move it wherever you want it to be or you can use this uh, kind of an icon here this uh, hand tool and then again you can uh, place your item wherever you want it to be and so basically guys uh, this is like uh, the move tool and then also is this is the selection tool or uh, perhaps let me try to draw some items here like this the shape tool here i think by de by default you have is uh, the rectangle tool now let me draw a rectangle here and then uh, again uh, perhaps let me change the field color to black also let me draw what let me draw let me right click and then i draw a circle uh, let me draw a circle also let me draw a polygon when you click shift you're gonna draw a perfect polygon now once you are you are there then i guess if you want to select all these items basically you can use a uh, shift shift then you can select uh, each item but uh, alternatively guys uh, you can do you can uh, uh, you can you can click on this icon here then i guess uh, drag draw as kind of a rectangle here that covers your object then i guess it's gonna select uh, every item there and so uh, now i think you have now understood this uh, first tool now i want us to go to this second tool but uh, first of all let me and uh, select uh, each item here now guys uh, this the second this second tool is almost similar to uh, this a move tool but i can see the colors this first one is a uh, has a black fill and then uh, the second one has a uh, white fill now the difference between uh, the first one and uh, the second one uh, this second one is used to uh, select in a specific position like if you want to uh, increase what to increase to change the uh, to distort the image or uh, to, to warp the image basically guys you can click wherever there is an anchor point and then you can change the the display maybe if you want to make it a circle or a basically you can adjust uh, each side like you can just when you click on this once then i guess you can you're going to uh, select this section alone so basically guys uh, this section is used to uh, to distort the image these are uh, you know a uh, second uh, uh, selection tool basically this direct direct selection tool uh, and i guess uh, the second the third one is the magic one tool and uh, this fourth one is the lesser tool or uh, perhaps let me show you the function of the lesser tool now when you click on it then i guess uh, perhaps if you want to select all these items you can as well use the lesser tool here uh, you just click on it then i uh, draw uh, something that uh, covers your object then it's gonna select uh, everything there it's gonna select everything like this and then again uh, we also have the pen tool like if you want to draw shapes you can as well use the uh, the pen tool to, to draw uh, stars here and then um, and uh, basically guys uh, if you want to uh, add anger points you can right click then you can see that we have other options like you can add anger points there you can add anger point or you can re remove the anger point you can delete the the anger point uh the way you can see and then i guess uh, once you have add the anger points basically you can use this a uh, second uh, uh direct selection tool then you can adjust uh you can uh, distort your object uh whatever you want it to be uh whichever style you want it to be so basically guys are this then uh the and the pen tool uh, and then again uh, we also have here the coverture tool it works similar to the paint tool but uh, this one draws kind of uh, curves uh, so first of all let me guess uh, delete uh, these other items here so that we may uh, show we may see very well so once you have selected this coverture tool then uh, if i want to draw a uh, circle then a uh, circle uh, basically guess has four anger points you can draw a uh, first one there uh, then uh, the uh, the second one there the third one there and the fourth one and then uh, you finish at uh, this point guys it's not a perfect circle but if you want to adjust and uh, make it a very perfect circle then uh, you're going to click on this um direct selection tool and then i uh, guess uh, you can basically adjust uh, the you know your ranger points and uh, make it a uh, perfect circle or whichever you want uh, it to be but uh, 
I guess I don't use this uh, you know tool to make you know a perfect circle you I use what I use there and the object tool but I basically guess uh, the work of this um, curvature tool is to draw kind of curves and then I guess I will also have the type tool now uh, when you click on the type tool then I guess you can see that it gives you the lorem uh, stars but so basically guys you can increase the size on this other end I uh, can increase you can increase what the size but uh, you can see that uh, using this um, these tabs here it does not you know uh, do your things very fast so if you want to uh, resize or uh, you know increase the size or uh, reduce the size easily so basically you're going to click on the uh, selection tool and then when you click on shift then I guess you can see that uh, this way is faster so basically guys, uh, this, this is your type tool and uh, you can change the font type uh, to whichever you like um so basically guys that is the type tool and uh first of all let me position it at the center and then i guess uh, we also have the uh the line tool and basically you can draw lines if i want to draw a perfect line perhaps let me try to read the the stroke so that you can see very well so basically guys that is a line tool if i want to draw a perfect you know a straight line and then uh, you're going to click on the shift then i guess you're going to draw a very straight line when you right click you have a other option like you can draw an arc you can uh, draw an arc guys you can as well draw a spiral uh, you can draw a spiral like this you can uh, draw a rectangle grid or uh, you can draw what you can draw a polar grid a polar grid and then I guess uh, we also have the shape tool here. Basically, if you want to draw uh, shapes, you can use that segment to draw. And then uh, that, that is a rectangle. Basically, you can uh, add the fill color to whichever color you wish, like red. Or uh, you can give it any color you want. Then I guess uh, if you want to draw uh, something else, like a rounded rectangle, basically you can draw. Uh, if you want, basically, guys, uh, if you want to draw a square, then you are going to click on shift. Uh, basically, you're, you're going to click on shift. And then it's gonna draw at your perfect square. I want to draw an ellipse. Then uh, basically you can draw that. If I want to draw a perfect circle, guys, you are going to click on shift. Then it's gonna draw a perfect circle. If I want to draw a star, you can draw a star and I position it at the right position. And then uh, if I want to draw a uh, water flare, you can basically guess do that. You can uh, and I guess uh, the next uh, thing is the brush render you can use the brush to draw anything you can draw anything basically guys and uh, we have the preset for it if you want to draw um, an arrow we have the preset for arrows you can draw or uh, you can just use these presets for arrow for, for example if you want an arrow perhaps let me try to make uh, to put it here so that you can see uh, very well uh, you can see guys you have the preset for arrows you can basically draw or perhaps let me try to increase the stroke uh, so that you can uh, see very well and I uh, guess uh, basically you can see that we have this arrow now uh, we have uh, several options here you can draw anything guys we have the presets here for you and uh, if you want something else uh, or if you want to go to the next just click here at the bottom so guys uh, basically this is the brush for you we have uh, other options as well for these are uh, presets guys uh, you can see that we have a uh, very very uh, many presets here you can just go through it uh, once you're done there you uh, guys will have other options for for example if one down um, and the artistic then i will have your uh, the options for you you can just uh, go through it but i uh, guess uh, basically uh, this is the uh, brush uh, tool for you uh, and i uh, guess uh, the next uh, thing is the shape builder tool first of all let me draw an object here let me first of all draw uh, uh, some rectangle here let me draw what let me just draw some rectangle here also a star and let me draw a star here then also let me draw something else like a polygon yeah so perhaps let me change the colors for you to understand what we are going to do now and then uh, for this one let me select this one and i give it a different color like let me give it yellow and then uh, this one uh, let me give it what let me give it uh, whichever color like black uh, basically this one it was it should be this one let me just uh, give it now yellow 
Uh -huh. So okay, I should have selected this one. I don't know why I'm not selecting it. Ensure that it's selected first of all. And then ensure that uh, you give it um, a different color like black. So guys, I want to show you the use of this Shaper Builder tool. And so basically you can use this uh, Shaper Builder tool to combine, uh, you know, objects or uh, to delete objects or uh, to color our objects. So first of all, um, select all, uh, ensure that you are in this, in this, uh, you know, selection tool. Then ensure you have selected everything. And then uh, go back to your Shaper Builder tool. And then I uh, guess, uh, for example, if you want to, uh, combine or to join objects then I guess just draw uh, this uh, the line that are you know passes through certain joints like if you want to join to join this star and uh, this a rectangle then I just draw uh, a line that uh, crosses uh, both objects then I guess you have just combined the uh, object now if you want to delete certain uh, points you know certain uh, segments then I click on alt and then I guess uh, basically you can delete uh, you know certain uh, points on your object then I guess uh, let me show you how you can use uh, this tool to color your objects so first of all ensure that uh, uh, everything is selected then uh, now choose the color that you want to uh, the color first of all ensure that you are in the uh, the shape builder tool then uh, first of all select the color that you want to use um, for example let me choose what let me choose this gray color and then I guess uh, for example I want to color this one to yellow add to that kind of uh, color that is uh, brown I think just do that and then I guess you can basically color your object uh, whatever whenever you you like so guys uh, basically I think you have understood this the function of this um, what these are uh, uh, shape builder tool and so guys uh, the next thing we have the perspective gray tool now guys uh, when you click on it then uh, you can draw um your 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 stuffs based on a certain angle like uh for example if i want to draw what if i want to draw uh uh, uh, uh you know kind of a stuff in this uh, kind of uh, an angle then i guess i'm gonna click on whichever uh place i want to draw then uh, for example i want to, to draw uh what to draw a rectangle or whichever it is then i guess i can just do that in that and a draw so basically it does your stuff very accurate accurately and the best you can do that you can uh, draw anything in whichever angle you you want it to be and then i guess i have the and the gradient tool perhaps let me draw something here first let me draw this rectangle then i guess i did the uh, the gradient tool and i guess uh, here at the top you can see that we have the gradient type you can choose the type that you want this the linear this one is the radio and then uh, this one is the a uh, freeform gradient tool and then uh, for example let me begin with the uh, this uh, linear you can see um, how it is basically you can change the position of which color you know uh, or uh, the strength of the color this one is the uh, this one is the radio then uh, this one is the uh, the free uh, the free form so guys okay, so let me choose this uh, gradient and uh, perhaps let me show you how you can uh, change the uh, the color basically when you double click here you can choose the color like if you want to, uh, to choose uh, this um orange and then on this other end you can choose uh, whichever color like let's say yellow and that uh, basically guys you can see that uh, this is how you can simply do it and this is how you can simply uh, create your gradient and you can change the position or uh, you can change uh, how uh, the gradient you know uh, you know flows the the next item is the eyedropper tool for and perhaps let me uh, try for example if you want to match colors first of all let me draw another shape here uh, let me draw another shape and uh, just let me make it a uh, black color uh, and uh, basically guys uh, if i want to match uh, these colors here to this uh, small rectangle here then i'm gonna use the eyedropper tool here now when i you click on it then i guess you can see that uh, i've just matched the color from this uh, you know larger rectangle Perhaps let me draw something else, like uh, let me draw a circle, uh, and uh, perhaps let me give it a different color, like uh, let me just give it um, red color. Then I guess if I want to, first of all, let me ensure that, let me select another, like uh, let me select this one. Now, if I want to match this color here to this one, and then I just click on the eyedropper, and then I guess you can see that uh, we have just, you know, changed the color there with, with the 
uh, eyedropper. Basically, guys, it is used to uh, match what to match uh, the colors. And then, uh, guys, uh, we also have uh, the blend tool. When you have a considerator, this is the function for it. It is used to blend colors, you know, our, our object. And uh, we also have uh, this other option here. And then, I uh, guess, uh, we have uh, the uh, the column graph tool. Basically, it is used to draw uh, the graphs here. And uh, basically, guys, you can change what you can change the uh, the graph type. Like if you want to apply a graph, basically, you can draw your pie graph there. Uh, you can see that I have the pie graph there. You can change the units there. Um, for example, if you want uh, this bar graph, basically, guys, you can just draw it and this a uh, bar graph here so uh, and then i uh, can change the you know the the units there uh, if you so wish but uh, basically guys i uh, can go through these items but uh, i want to go to something else uh, and so guys i want us to understand the difference between uh, a vector image and uh, uh, a raster image then uh, first of all let me uh, uh, import here an image so let me just uh, go to the files here go to the files then i uh, find a place so there's no option for import but uh, we have a place so place is, uh, is like uh, import uh, in uh, in uh, illustrator so let me just uh, open it then uh, let me find my logo let me choose my logo where is it here it is let me uh, click on it then uh, let me just uh, place it here but, uh, perhaps let me try to increase a bit so that you can uh, see very well and so guys i want us to understand the difference between a vector image and a raster image and uh, basically guys uh, for example this is a raster image here uh, and uh, guys a uh, raster image is pixel based when you zoom in further uh, guys uh, you are going to see that uh, you will see some the image will become blurry and that uh, you will be able to see some small boxes so basically a raster image is pixel based so for example let me try to zoom in further so that you can see what i'm talking about let me click on the zoom tool and then i uh, guess uh, let me try to zoom in further and then i uh, guess uh, for example um First of all, you can see that at uh, this image when I zoom in further, guys, you, you you see these small boxes, these boxes. So basically, guys, uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a raster image. It is pixel based. When you zoom in, it becomes blurry. And I want us to understand also uh, a vector image. And uh, guys, uh, basically, a uh, vector in Illustrator is a line that are composed of two dots connected by a computer algorithm. And uh, perhaps let me try to convert this uh, raster image to to a uh, vector image so that you can uh, so that you can uh, see the difference. First of all, let me go to the window, and then uh, go to the uh, go to the image trace here. Click on the image trace, and then I uh, guess uh, here. Perhaps let me just uh, place it here. When you uh, click on it, then a uh, disk a small window will, will pop up. Then uh, what uh, what I want you to do? Just uh, click on this uh, preset. And then I'll go to the low fidelity photo. Click on the low fidelity photo, and then I guess allow it to convert it to um, to a vector what to a vector uh, image. And then uh, once you are done, then I guess uh, let me just uh, close this window. Then uh, once you're done, then I uh, click on expand. Click on expand. Um, then now uh, you can see that uh, this image now is now uh, a vector image in the guys uh, when let me try to zoom in so that you can see the difference now let me try to zoom in first of all let me click on the zoom tool and then i try to zoom in and then i guess i can see that uh, when i zoom in uh you can't see those small boxes uh they, you can see just lines you know smooth lines you know so basically guys that uh, is the difference between uh a vector image and a um a raster image so basically in a nutshell uh, a vector image is uh, based on lines you know the lines composed of lines two lines you know connected interconnected by a computer algorithm and then uh, a raster image is pixel based uh, composed of small boxes which uh, makes you know that kind of an image so guys i think you now understand the difference between a raster image and a vector image uh, and so guys uh, the next thing i want us to understand how to draw custom logos in adobe illustrator and i want us to begin by drawing a logo based on a uh, on a letter w so uh what i'm gonna do here guys uh, let me go to this uh, line segment tool uh, perhaps yours might be uh, the spiral or whichever it is but ensure that you are at uh, the line segment tool then i uh, guess uh, if you want to draw a very perfect line then i click on shift then uh, let me draw you can change the stroke you can increase the stroke or uh, reduce the size 
I think I'd spark, uh, let me increase to, I think 5 is good for me. Then now, if I want to draw a perfect line, then I click on shift, then I just uh, draw uh, this line like this. And uh, let me also draw another line. And then again, uh, let me draw uh, the, the slant vertical line, the, uh, the vertical line, but uh, it is slant. Let me just uh, draw it. So click on shift, then I draw uh, this kind of a line. Uh, that extend to the bottom again. Uh, let me just uh, draw another one like this. Then now uh, what I do? Let me just uh, try to uh, group them. Or, uh, yeah, let me just uh, try to group group them. First of all, select all. I uh, select all. Then I uh, go to the object. And then uh, let me just do it. Let me just uh, group all. Then uh, at least let me try to adjust it to this uh, position. And then I guess uh, what you do now next, just uh, select everything, select everything. Then again, I go to the uh, object, then I group all of them. Now, once you are done, then I guess I want us to have a reflection for it. So what you do, go to the uh, object again, then I go to the uh, transform, and then I guess I go to the uh, reflect here. Go to the reflect, but I click here, click here, have a copy, click copy, copy, uh, have a copy of it. Then now uh, what you do here, uh, just uh, uh, do this. Let me just uh, move uh, it to this uh, position. I think uh, this is the, this is a perfect position for it. So uh, once I'm here, guys, uh, what I'm going to do next now, let me try to, um, I think it's perfect for me the way it is. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, guys, let me also draw some certain lines here. Um, let me go to the line tool again. Then I guess I click on shift, shift, and then I draw it, draw a line that crosses everything. Again, here, let me draw another line here, uh, like this. And then again, uh, here at the bottom, uh, what I'm gonna do, let me just uh, draw it, let me just uh, draw uh, the lines here. Uh, let me just uh, draw the lines uh, like this. Or uh, what I do, let me undo first of all. Then uh, uh, let me just, draw the lines very accurately and then uh, perhaps let me try to uh, to move it at the bottom uh, a bit so that it may be here i think uh, that position is perfect so guys uh, once you are done then uh, perhaps let me select everything first of all select everything and then uh, what i'm gonna do guys i uh, go to the shape builder tool go to the shape builder tool then uh, guys, i guess i click on alt because i want us to uh, to trim this uh, you know a part that uh, we don't want it here so click on uh, alt click on alt then i guess i cut this unwanted part just uh, remove the unwanted part i uh, just remove it and then uh, remove uh, remove also uh, uh, to the bottom uh, let me try to zoom in further so that i guess uh, you can uh, see a uh, very well so that i can see uh, what to trim so again uh, click on alt then uh, just uh, trim these parts and then again I go here at the bot at the top then I trim this an unwanted part and then uh, on this other side let me also uh, click on alt first of all then uh, uh, trim those unwanted part again at uh, this point then uh, let me just uh, trim everything trim this position and then again I trim and then uh, what I do also at this uh, further end let me also uh, trim this a segment let me then zoom out and so guys also uh, I, I should remove also this line here and then I guess I want us to do what I want us to uh, color this uh, stuff here first of all what I'm gonna do here guys um and let me do it let me just uh, uh, also remove this line here let me just uh, remove this line here and then again uh, here at the top let me just uh, do it let me just uh, remove um let me just uh, join this and then again uh, here let me just do what let me just uh, join uh, this segment so uh, the next thing i want us to uh, color this what this uh you know uh, this uh, logo of ours here so what i'm gonna do first of all here i forgot to remove uh, this stuff here at the bottom and so guys okay, so once you are done then i want us to color this uh these uh, items here so what I'm gonna do, cause I don't know how to match colors well. So let me use go to the Google to the browser. Then uh, let me search, uh, just search for designs, design, uh, design uh, dot uh, AI. 
but then uh, basically dot uh, basically design dot AI design AI color here because I want us to use this uh, you know uh, illustrator colors here so just uh, click on the color here uh, click color matcher here and then uh, here what I'm gonna do allow it to open uh, and so guys uh, perhaps let me choose uh, this color here uh, let me just choose this or uh, let me just choose this one then I uh, copy the first color or uh, let me just uh, copy this color then uh, let me go to my illustrator and then uh, guys uh, what I'm gonna do here go to your uh, you know go to your shape builder tool and then uh, now uh, to the fill color here I just uh, do it just uh, click on it and then I uh, guess uh, let me just uh, use that C, uh, CSS code there hexadecimal value then uh, let me just uh, paste it there and then uh, what I do um, just click OK then I uh, guess I want us to uh, make this color here so let me just uh, click once to color it then uh, again I uh, go to your Chrome then uh, what is let me just choose what uh, let me choose uh, this other color and then again uh, to my illustrator let me just uh, paste it there uh, sorry first of all I ensure that you go to the field uh, to the field then uh, here just uh, give it this color, uh, this color code and then uh, I think uh, it should be first of all let me ensure that I've copied correctly let me just ensure that uh, I have copied correctly uh, so uh, once you have copied then I go to the illustrator click on this uh, field to this um this color mixer then i just do it press it there uh, once you're done then i do it i uh, go to this color then i just uh, click once and then again uh, let me go to uh, let me again go to this uh, other one uh, it is um let me choose uh this one this one dark up this dark color here then again to my illustrator uh, let me go to uh, my field then I do it. Let me just uh, paste it there, and then I do it. Click and again on the field, and then uh, what I do, uh, let me just uh, click here once, and then again uh, let me go to my uh, Chrome, to my browser, and then again uh, let me choose this one, and then I uh, back to my Illustrator, and then uh, to the field, then uh, let me just uh, paste the color there. I think, and then uh, I think I'm not sure if that color I've copied correctly. Uh, let me ensure that I've copied uh, very uh, correctly um, then uh, to the field just uh, give it uh, I think it's perfect now what you do then I click here once then I guess uh, here we have what our logo so first of all let me remove what uh, let me remove the uh, let me remove what let me remove uh, this um, stroke so to the stroke just uh, give it what uh, stroke give it uh, zero let me just uh, give it zero uh, let me just uh, click and uh, give it now to give it none we don't want any stroke there so i think uh basically this is how you can do it this is how you can uh do it this is how you can uh, make what you can uh, make a custom logo in adobe illustrator or uh, basically you can use what the gradient if, if you so wish like um you can use the gradient here like uh, let me just change the colors so here perhaps let me give it uh red uh, or uh, orange and what uh, orange and um uh, and uh, yellow perhaps and then uh, let me choose linear or uh, let me choose uh, i think let me choose this one but uh, first of all let me select what let me select the colors first of all the first one is uh, red and then uh, the second one is um yellow and then uh, also to this other end the first one let me choose uh, the first one let me choose red then at uh, the second one let me uh, choose what let me choose uh, yellow and then uh, here and perhaps you can give it give it any color like uh, here i can say for example let me choose um <laughs> let me choose a uh, blue and uh, what blue and um orange does not match i think <laughs> does not match very well i don't know how to match colors but uh, basically guys i think you have the concept um basically let me try again let me choose blue and white and blue and uh, this color again uh, i think uh, basically guys i now understand how to i think you've now understood how to make uh, these uh, custom logos
So basically, guys, you can design it uh, in whichever style you wish. But uh, basically, um, you can add more details. But I don't want to make uh, this video a uh, very long. So guys, you can go ahead and uh, make final adjustment. But I want to end this video here. And uh, guys, until next time, this is Nehemiah. Goodbye.